Welcome to another Counseling Convo. Today we are going to talk about a concept that a uh, theorist back in 1954 developed. His theorist's name was Julian Rotter, and it was uh, included in personality theory. So the main concept here involves trying to understand to what level or degree a person has control over their life versus external events. So perhaps you've got like a uh, interview coming up or something that's about to happen and you increase anxiety over time as each day passes. Um, people tend to think that maybe there's nothing to do or it's uncontrollable, it's difficult. Uh, and it is, it's hard, right? It's hard to, to predict things. We can't really tell the future. Um, but this concept is called the locus of control. The locus of control. Uh, the, the idea of this is that we can leverage certain aspects or how much to a degree things impact us. Um, it's not just about managing emotions, it's also about um, leveraging perspective. So if you think on a timeline and you imagine yourself next Tuesday having an interview or some sort of event that you know is going to happen, uh, and you know as each day passes that anxiety is going to increase. So if it's next Tuesday at 3 o'clock, what this concept tells you to do is to change your locus of control, change that point in time, that pinpoint on that timeline. Instead of thinking about that event on next Tuesday at exactly 3 p.m., think about the thing that you usually do on Tuesday at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. Maybe it's taking out the trash or going to get groceries or something mundane or perhaps something new that you want to try. By simply changing or leveraging that, you're able to uh, reflect on how it impacts you and you can readjust and change the, the level of impact that it has on your chemistry, on your body. And it's not that you're taking full control of it, but you're just simply changing the impact of it or the locus of control on that timeline. Um, you are given a little bit more leverage, a little bit more insight as to how it's impacting you, but also what other things you want to impact your life, not just this interview at, at 3 p.m. So you still prepare for it, you still do the same things, but you're more so looking forward to 4 p.m. or the you know drawing that you're working on or the phone call that you're wanting to have with your family. That's gonna be the central focus of that day, not so much the interview. So maybe you're going through something, maybe you're experiencing a lot of anxiety or uh, looking forward to an experience that's just causing a lot of issues. Try to take some time to change that locus of control um, and it may help you out. Check out our other videos, check out our learning modules. Until next time, this is another Counseling Convo. I'll see you later.